Hi guys, welcome to AI News, here are today's headlines. Apple's caution with AI, choosing machine learning over hype. The impact of AI on white-collar jobs, Professor Joseph Fuller's insights. OpenAI CEO assures software developers no more consumer products like ChatGPT plan. IMF official urges prompt action and regulation to address risks of AI. Now let's dive into the detail. Apple's caution with AI, choosing machine learning over hype. Apple has consistently avoided using the term AI and instead emphasizes machine learning to describe its technological advancements. At WWDC 2023, Apple showcased several machine learning-powered features across its ecosystem, such as improved autocorrect, personalized volume, and intelligently curated prompts. While Apple's approach appears conservative compared to its competitors, it aligns with the company's hardware-focused strategy. However, Apple may be missing out in the area of Siri, its digital assistant, as it falls behind competitors' AI language models. As the AI landscape evolves, it remains to be seen how long Apple can maintain its cautious stance. The Impact of AI on White-Collar Jobs, Professor Joseph Fuller's Insights From the interview in Fortune, Professor Joseph Fuller, a management professor at Harvard Business School, discusses the potential impact of AI on white-collar jobs. While not all white-collar jobs are at risk, Fuller predicts that certain roles will significantly diminish due to AI capabilities. He highlights that jobs involving tasks such as summarizing business books or routine contract writing are likely to be automated. However, Fuller emphasizes that AI can enhance human productivity and creativity, rather than replacing jobs entirely. As AI progresses and becomes more multimodal, workers with repetitive and easily automated tasks may face challenges. Nonetheless, skills like judgment, motivation, collaboration, and vision will remain valuable and in demand. The post concludes by emphasizing that the future of white-collar work will be less monotonous, with business intelligence systems handling mundane tasks and humans focusing on more engaging and creative aspects of their jobs. If you want more detail the link from the article is in the description, let me know in the comment what you think. OpenAI CEO assures software developers no more consumer products like ChatGPT planned. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, reassures software developers that the company does not intend to release additional consumer-facing products like ChatGPT. Altman's message was shared during a private meeting with developers and startup founders, where he discussed OpenAI's roadmap and challenges. Raza Habib, CEO of Human Loop, initially blogged about the meeting but later took it down. OpenAI aims to ease developers' concerns about potential competition and emphasizes the value of ChatGPT as a tool to improve their APIs. Altman also addressed the shortage of GPUs, which impacts OpenAI's short-term plans for enhancing API reliability and speed. IMF official urges prompt action and regulation to address risks of AI. In this blog post, Gita Gopinath, a high-ranking official at the IMF, highlights the potential risks and benefits of generative artificial intelligence AI, and calls for swift action from policymakers. Gopinath acknowledges the positive impact of AI on productivity and economic output, particularly large language models like ChatGPT. However, she warns of the very large risks associated with AI, including substantial disruptions in labor markets. Drawing on past mistakes with automation in manufacturing, she emphasizes the need for governments to ensure that workers are matched with productive work and for the strengthening of social safety nets. Gopinath also highlights concerns about unfair advantages, privacy, and AI-fueled discrimination. She applauds the EU's proposed AI regulation and encourages global coordination. Citing studies that estimate significant economic impact, Gopinath underscores the transformative potential of generative AI and emphasizes the importance of taking it seriously. Prompt regulation and proactive measures are needed to effectively navigate the risks and benefits of AI. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest news, and see you in the next video.